Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Today we're going to be opening some of my Patreon boxes in this, I guess, kind of like uh, November preview video. I don't really ever do my Patreon boxes um, as their own videos. I used to have a subscription box that I would do with some of my overstock back in the day before the Saturday showdowns, but now I just extra cases I have, I put them in Saturday showdowns. But today we're going to be taking a look at the $99 boxes, which are right here for my Patreon members. We also have the $51 boxes as well. I put a little message out to say, hey, does anybody want their boxes open in a video? And a few folks said yes. So we'll be opening those right now. So the way Patreon works, if you're not familiar with it, is anyone on our Patreon page can have access to any of our breaks. If you ever wanted to get your name on a little card in one of our videos and get the card sent to you, sponsor a video, participate in a live break, we sell all of those spots on Patreon, and there is a link in the description to this video. It is $4.99 per month to sign up there. We also have higher tiers, 26 51 and 99 and those folks get monthly boxes sent to them each and every month, and this is the... November box. There's plenty of 2022 Tops update to go around. So I figured we'd show this to you. Now, this month we have a an option. Um, first, let me just show you the $99 tier, what we have. So the $99 tier will get two blaster boxes sent to you each month. And by the way, this is for Don. Don has volunteered to have his box open live. You get six newer packs, and they are typically all hobby packs. You also get one fat pack, or just in case I can't uh, find a case of fat packs, I will just replace the fat packs with, with two additional hobby packs. So it could be eight hobby packs instead of uh, the fat um, one, one extra fat pack, if that makes any sense. I figure the, uh, the value is a wash at that point. So here's what it looks like. That is the uh, $99 box, which I think it's pretty good. A lot of the... Uh, I think it compares pretty favorably. I open all these $90 boxes, and I see a lot of $90 boxes with maybe eight hobby packs, and maybe those eight hobby packs are $5 packs a piece on average, four or $5 packs. So I think this is pretty good, um, especially uh, for its value. Some of you might uh, wonder, what's the value here? Well, $99, and the blaster boxes are, I, I would say, what, $50 for the blaster boxes? Maybe 54 after tax. If you're buying them in the store, fat packs are usually five dollars a piece. Actually, they're more than that now, so let's call that 60 bucks. And then six here. I mean, if you just give that uh, five dollars a piece, that's 30 bucks. That's 90 bucks right there. You might be like, wait a minute, that's short of 99. Well, it costs me nine dollars to ship at Priority Mail, and then also Patreon takes a percentage as well. So the uh, the margin on this is um, very very minuscule. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we have for Dawn right now. So this is your $99 box, and we also have the option B, which we'll get into this. For folks that don't want the blasters because they're just everywhere in your neighborhood, we have an option for you. We, we will replace these with jumbo packs So this month. It's an opt-in. Uh, we'll talk about that. So lots of stuff going on here. Let's start with the fat pack and see if we can find for Dawn. I figure this will be a fun Ran, kind of like a random pack opening video to see what we can find. By the way, I guess I should get, get the packs out and show you the pack lineup before we get into this. these. We have a 2021 update pack. These are all hobby packs. We have two packs of Series 2 going after the J-Rod, and we have three packs of update, and they are all hobby packs um, for you. So... First off, we have the Heritage Fat Pack, hoping that we could find a relic in here, or maybe get lucky and find an autograph. And unfortunately, we do not have much of anything in there at all. That's the way it goes. Usually I start off with the packs that I'm least interested in, and then I move my way up. We'll do the 2021 update pack and see if we can find an auto relic. Now, the odds are 1 in 24. We do have a rookie um, Jorge Guzman silver foil there. And uh, also a Shane McClanahan rookie debut, which is not too bad. Probably the best card in that pack, the Clanny. Uh, we're going to do some Series 2 and look for the J-Rod. Now, I have probably had about six or seven people hit the J-Rod in their Patreon packs. And they send me a message and say, hey, I got the J-Rod in my pack, the J-Rod short print. And I'm always like, man, nice job. Congratulations. That's awesome. I think I even had somebody hit a J-Rod uh, rookie auto. I think it might it may have been Dreamer Believer that hit that. 
So I love the, the Series 2 uh, hobby packs because it does give you a shot at those uh, that short print chase for uh, Bobby Witt and J-Rod. Unfortunately, nothing in those packs. Oh, we got a Torkelson on the back here. So with update, there's so many good rookies and updates that I just had to go heavy on the hobby packs of uh, update. So by the way, every $99 here will get the exact same lineup of packs. You all get three update packs. There's a Hunter Green right there. Uh, let's see what else. We're hoping for a J-Rod in here. And there's Stephen Kwan, who's going to be a top three rookie of the year finisher. That's two nice rookies. And Spencer Torkelson. So a pretty good first pack there for Don. Three top-notch rookies. Still no J-Rod, though. Need to find him. We got Max Scherzer, who's got the same exact picture on the front of that box. Josh Donaldson. MJ Melendez, another nice rookie. Keep him in mind when you are sleeving rookie cards. Put him in your sleeve pile. Got Royce Lewis rookie card and Manny Pena is the last one there. And here's our final hobby pack before we rip into the blasters for Dawn. We got Nick Lodolo, Michael Gibbons. There's the J-Rod. So we did get a Julio Rodriguez. We'll get that one sleeved up for you, Dawn. There we go. Waiting for a hit. We got one. And we got an autograph, Kervin Castro. That's about a 1 in 24 chance of finding one of those. So actually it's much tougher than that. Uh, an autograph is approximately, with hobby in my experience, uh, hobby packs have probably been, um, from the breaks that I've done in the past, maybe three per box or three per case. So it might actually be one in like 72 packs. So Don, congratulations on the J-Rod. Actually, the J-Rod is going to be worth more than that autograph. But let's check out what we have in, let's continue on with the update and see what we got here so everyone will get an update blaster box as well picked up several cases of these to make sure we get one for everybody that wanted one and then for folks that don't want one well we can just swap it out for some jumbo packs we'll be opening those jumbo packs in the next 99 dollars box here soon now not featured in this video is the 26 dollars tier if you're wondering about the 26 dollars tier which actually is our most popular tier it has the most amount of members on it this month, you will also be loaded up with update. You get four newer packs. It's going to be four total newer packs. Two are going to be update, and two will be series two. So all tops, all hobby packs for 26. There's O'Neill Cruz, rookie debut card right there. C.J. Abrams, we're looking for the J-Rods and the Bobby Witts. And the Torkelsons and the Peñas. There's a Brandon Marsh bat relic or a batting helmet, I should say. It would be really cool if it was a bat relic. Kind of disappointed that they went back to the well on that one. I wish it would have been something different. They used the exact same idea that they did with Series 2. And I guess maybe it was just such a huge hit with Series 2. They're like, oh, let's just do that again. But um, eh, I'm not a big fan of them uh, anymore. We've got a Noah Syndergaard short print. So our first short print of the video. I'll take that one. Hoping for a second autograph here. And I know you guys just love the stars of MLB cards. So uh, there's a Jose Miranda, another one. Put him in your sleeve pile as well. Stars of MLB, you Darvish. And uh, no J-Rod yet in this blaster box. Blaster box is $25. There's a silver foil card right there. We got a Bobby Witt Jr. Generation Now card right there as well. By the way, um, we've got a big uh, Mystery Box Monday coming up soon. Magic Matt has, uh, has got a new series together. And we got a gold card right there, Nick Lodolo, rookie card out of 2022. If you remember Magic Matt's um, boxes before, we did it maybe like three weeks ago. They were insane. They were $500 a piece, and they were absolutely insane. Um, every single box... Uh, there was 10 boxes made, and there was nine chase cards, and every single box produced more than $500 in value. Um, he's got a second series that he has sent to me, so we'll be having that for sale on Patreon soon. And uh, to make it more fun, this time he's not going to announce the chasers, but uh, I think that uh, anyone that buys in that break will be very pleasantly pleased. So that will be coming up for soon. Or for sale soon on Patreon, so keep an eye out for that. And then hopefully Bryce from State Classy Cards will have another round of his State Classy packs. So when I talked to him this week at the card show, he said he was getting another round ready for me. But he is a very busy guy, so 
Got to give them a little bit of time. So this is a Series 1 box. Now, the second blaster box, just because I didn't have enough of update to go around and give everyone two of those boxes, the second one will be a 2022 um, blaster box of either Series 1 or Heritage, or I have a couple Series 2s. I've got a couple selects. So primarily probably Series 1 will be the second blaster box, in case you're wondering. Let's see what else we have in here. There's a Garrett Cole. That is the manufactured patch. You can see they used to do the little um, team jersey right there. We're looking for Wander Franco in this, by the way. We've got a Bobby Dalbeck future star card. And anything else in here to speak of. There's Tim Anderson. Um, Pete Alonso, Jose Iglesias, Lars Newtbar. We also have Pat Mazeka. That's a silver foil. And that will be it for Don. So, Donald, thank you very much for allowing us to open your box on camera. We have a second $99 box right here. This one is going to be for Jamie. Now, Jamie chose the jumbo option. A lot of folks did opt into the jumbo. Um, I put it up on Patreon that if you don't want the blasters, I can replace them with two Series 2 Jumbos. So the only difference between what you would get sent to you is I would put packing peanuts in here, but I figured, oh, what's the point? I'm just going to be opening this, this up uh, right now. So I just put all the packs in there. You'll see that all of the packs are exactly the same. So you'll have the same Jumbo pack and the same hobby packs included. The only difference is instead of the blaster boxes now, you'll get two jumbo packs. And that's pretty good because uh, the jumbo packs will have a much better chance of hitting a hit or getting a hit, such as a relic or an autograph. You can see that uh, it says instead of the uh, two blaster boxes, you chose to have two jumbo packs instead in that little um, insert right there. So Jamie Callahan is one of the many people that requested this option. Um, obviously, Jamie has probably unfettered access to blaster boxes at his local Walmart or Target. So let's go ahead and see what we can find and see if we can get a hit in here. Now, with the jumbo boxes, it's one in every three and a third that has a hit. So let's go ahead and see what we can find in this first fat pack. Unfortunately, nothing to write home about in the first fat pack. Let's go into our hobby packs and see what we can find in the Series 1, or actually update series from 2021, which I will probably always believe it's one of the worst designs of the last 10 years. I'm not a big 2021 Tops fan. I think the design is terrible, and I'm glad that uh, we don't have to look at it too much longer. I'm super pumped to get into the 2023 campaign because I think that that design looks amazing. Uh, first series two pack, nothing crazy in there. We're hoping to hit a J-Rod in one of these packs, the J-Rod short print. Next up, we have the Bryce Harper meets his MVP potential or future MVP candidate. Um, Wander Franco, we'll see if that ever happens. There's John Carlos Stanton. That's a gold card out of 2022. Next up, let's get into these update packs for Jamie. And we still have the still have all those, not all those, but two $51 ones to do as well. Lots of cards to open up. All right, nothing going on with that pack. Next up, I doubt that we're going to get another hit in this because I was just putting these together. We already got the autograph out of the box, so these might all be, unfortunately, cold packs. But we'll see for Jamie. If we can hit a J-Rod. And there's something. There's a Torkelson. We'll take that one. And there's a Torque. And, man, it would be so nice to get a J-Rod parallel. But it's going to be Cole Sands. And there's this. Is this? Oh, no. I thought it was sticking. Ryan Tapera is not having a card cling to the back of him. And that'll be it for that pack. So, Jamie, this is where probably most of your uh, reward will lie in these jumbo packs much higher percent chance of hits in these so we have nick senzel there jose miranda so the, the trade-off is that you get a few less cards than a jumbo box but your chances of a hit and parallels go up there's mj melendez we have jason creason we've got a kevin smith out of 2022 gold card i guess we'll sleeve that one up and unfortunately there's j-rod so no autograph there but there's j-rod Wander Franco as well. 
and Tony Gonsolin. J-Rod base card. Very nice. How about that pack? So no hit in there, but the J-Rod save it. You get both J-Rods and a Wander in one jumbo pack. So congratulations on that, Jamie. The J-Rods are probably going to be worth more than a lot of the uh, autographs that you would find. Um, a lot of rookie autos might be worth a few bucks, but I think that J-Rod's worth a little bit more. Here's the next pack up, and I think we're going to have a hit here, folks. It, wow, it's a good one. So there we go. One in three chance of getting a hit, and we have one of them here. It's a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. game use relic. Not only that, it is numbered out of 50. So an awesome hit right there, Jamie. Congratulations on that one. You probably would have to maybe open like, I don't know, 15, 20 blaster boxes to find a relic. So congratulations on that. We'll take that and put that one on the board. There's Stephen Kwan as well. And that will do it for that $99 box for Jamie. So Jamie, thank you very much. And now we will wrap this up. I mentioned that I had some $51 stuff here. Let's do the $51 uh, option to show you what we have here. Now I didn't put a sticker on here because I will put a printing label on this box and I didn't want to put a sticker then cover it up. I guess I could have put it on the inside. But here's what you get with a $51 tier donation. You'll also get a blaster box, which is a $27.50 value after tax. And you'll get four hobby packs as well. So we have the jumbo box right here. And then we have our four hobby packs. Again, two updates, a Series 2. And I was originally going to do a second Series 2, but I had to change it. I had to put in a Platinum Anniversary. You might think, why? It's because of that darn batting helmet. If I put in another Series 2 pack, it puts it slightly over a pound. And then I'm going to have to pay like $9 to ship the box. And at that point, I would be losing money on this um, after the PayPal, uh, after um, Patreon takes then their 10% fees, 5% membership fees, and 5% payment processing fees. So... Uh, I, I had to put that one in there. I still think it's a pretty decent pack. It's still a hobby pack, but let's go ahead and rip it open and see what we can find. By the way, this one is going to be for Thomas. Thomas Culp chose, actually check that, Ben. Ben chose the blaster option. Good thing I put those letters there to keep it straight here. So we have a Jason Veritek. That is going to be one of those black and white mini diamond parallels. Let's check out the... Series 2 pack. Really hoping that one day I can pull a... Oh, there we go. We have a relic here. It's Andrew McCutcheon. There's Kutch. Game use jersey. Andrew McCutcheon, who may get some consideration for the Hall of Fame someday. Maybe not. Um, he's His war is right there around Don Mattingly's career war, I think. I think they're both in the same ballpark. Don Mattingly up for the Hall of Fame. And another J-Rod. So that's the good thing about all the update is lots and lots of Julio Rodriguez rookie cards for hopefully everybody. There's also a Wander Franco as well. And uh, O'Neill Cruz in there also. So a pretty darn good pack there. J-Rod, O'Neill Cruz, and Wander in the same pack. Let's check the next one and see if we can get lucky again. All right. So from this one, we've got a Josh Rojas Silver and nothing else going on there. So, Ben, thank you very much. Maybe your jumbo or your blaster box will have something in it. Now, the odds of finding a relic, I speculated earlier, may be 1 in 15 boxes. Does it tell us on there? It should. If we take the time to go through and read it, it will tell you somewhere on here. Um, oh, I don't know. You, it's always like a, a word search for me, which I was never very good at. I could always get them done, but it always takes me a long time. I'm just looking for the word relic to see what the odds are. Probably about one in every 10 to 15 boxes. But there's the odds. Let's go ahead and rip this open and see what we can find in here. On this Wednesday. Good luck, Ben. And uh, also for the $51 tier this month as well. We put out there the option of switching out the blaster box in case you have just overflowing shelves at Walmart. I know some Walmarts are like that and others are not. It all depends on what the uh, card community is like around your neck of the woods. But uh, if you can't find blasters, you might want to stick with the blaster option. If you have no trouble finding them, you might want to switch over to the jumbo, give yourself an easier shot at a hit. All right, let's see what we've got in this 
Blaster Box, Jose Miranda. This one kind of started out just like the last one. Oh, boy. Oh, man. We've got a J-Rod. It's upside down. It is the Julio Rodriguez short print. How about that one? Take a look at this. I've opened 11 cases of 2022 Topps Update, and I have not ever found this card. Julio Rodriguez being doused with water after a win right there. Holy cow. Congratulations, Ben, on this card. An awesome card right there. How about that one? Massive hit. That's what we wanted to find. And uh, I'll have to get, get a one touch for that one. Luckily, I do have some nearby. I'm not sure what that one's worth. I would guess several hundred dollars. Now, I have pulled the super short print with Ichiro. I pulled that one time out of those 11 cases. And I think that one, I can't remember what that was worth. It was some insane amount. So we got the J-Rod short print. And it's only, uh, it's only fitting that we go ahead and get that one one touched up right now and put on camera here. So let me go ahead and get a one touched ready to go here. Let's go with this one from BCW. All right, so man. So that is the pull of the video. And congratulations, Ben, on that one. A huge hit right there. The J-Rod, it is landscape. So I know some people prefer the rookies to be, um, you know, portrait mode or whatever you want to call it. But that is still a pretty sweet card right there. I, I actually had never seen that one until this very moment. There's Torkelson. We'll get that one sleeved up. What a blaster. So I guess you just never know. Sometimes you might have a big hit in the jumbo pack. Sometimes you might have a big hit in a blaster or a hobby pack. There's a big old thick card of Dylan Carlson. And we'll see if we have anything else in here. MJ Melendez. And just a bunch of base cards. Alec Thomas. So, Ben, congratulations one more time. There it is. The Julio Rodriguez short print rookie card from Topps Update. If you haven't seen it before, like myself, now you have. Awesome card right there. Congratulations, man. Big J Rod. All right, we're going to wrap this up. We got one more to go. I'll reuse that box. Just toss it on the floor there. We'll reuse that as we continue to make up these packages over the coming week. This is the um, Jumbo Pack option. So Thomas Culp decided to have his Jumbo um, Pack opened up. So let's go ahead and see what we can find in this one. It will be bubble within a bubble. Bubble mailing, bubble mailing it inside of another bubble mailer. So same Jumbo or same uh, same packs with one difference. If you choose this option, you will get two Series Two packs instead of a Chrome anniversary. I explained that earlier. It all is because um, the weight of the package bumps up the cost of shipping by like three to four dollars into priority, and um, so then for people who live on, out in California, it's like thirteen dollars to ship it. So it's just um, easier to replace that one with people with the standard option. So if you do take the jumbo option, you will get two series two packs and give you an extra shot at the J Rod short print, which, as you can tell. Is, uh, it's a possible hit because we just pulled one. Let's go ahead and see what we've got in the Series 2 packs. All right, we've got a Brandon Lau. That is a, that's a short print, upside-down card, Brandon Lau. It's probably worth like five, six bucks or so. I think it's just a regular short print. And here is the other pack. Hoping for the J-Rod. Unfortunately, nothing happening in this pack. So we got the short print, but not the short print. It's all update the rest of the way in this one for Thomas. Let's see what we can find here. So first pack up, looking for more Julios. Nothing there. And next pack, then we have that jumbo pack. And then we'll wrap this one up for today and hopefully everyone has had a very pleasant wednesday thank you very much for joining us i hope you enjoyed this video there's an aussie obby's 87 insert card tomorrow it's i think it's throwback thursday i'm not sure if i will have anything old to open up but i do have some new stuff so keep that in mind it should be pretty fun um i have a subscription box to do not ours it's um the big fly box is in 
So I'm not sure which uh, d direction I'm going to go yet. Face-off Friday coming up as well. Here's the middle of the pack, by the way. We've got Derek Hill, and we have the manufactured patch. Derek Hill's out of 99. Manufactured patch, Jazz Chisholm, not numbered. And that will pretty much do it, unless there's another J-Rod base card. There's no chance of getting any parallels or anything down here in these jumbo packs. All the good stuff's always smack dab in the middle. There we go. <laughs> That's a good way to end it off with a J-Rod base. A ton of Julio Rodriguez rookie cards in this video. So for those of you on the Patreon page, um, I hope that you too get tons and tons of J-Rod in your Patreon packs this month. If you'd like to sign up, there's a link in the description. Um, all you have to do is click on that and sign up. You can use your credit card or PayPal and uh, we'll get your package sent out to you. I'm st gonna start putting them all together this week. So uh, those will be going out by probably early next uh, week at the latest. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.